Well, I am here in Woodstock. Traffic going by. I've never been here before, but we are going to be in the Woodstock Film Festival. So tonight I am seeing our documentary for the first time with a real audience. And uh, it, but that's in Bearsville. So here I am in Woodstock Hardware. I'm going to take a walk through the town. Woodstock Police Station, but look at this cool old building for the police station. Drug store. Woodstock Town Hall. Ice cream. Footprints touching all of the ice cream. <laughs> it's great. And there's Steve Postel across the street. I'm taking everybody on a tour of Woodstock. Yeah. How you doing, man? Is that, is, that, is that live? Yeah. Well, it's not live. I'm fil I'm, I'll am I'm post it as soon as I get back. Can I do that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we are here representing the yeah, immediate family, the guys who actually oh, give a shit. Camera. And look, and here's <laughs> Alan Friedman on the phone. Hi, Alan. <laughs> so he'll be here tonight. Welcome yeah. to Woodstock. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. You know, it's going to be so fabulous having you here tonight. Not really. I'm out of here. We're, we're really looking forward to it. Um, who's performing tonight? Is it Jefferson Airplane and uh, The Who? Uh, no, it's the Fugs and Strawberry Alarm Clock. And Hendrix is is uh, opening for them. Yeah, Wanda Hendrix. <laughs> okay, Sheila. do you know when we're going yet? See, I'll call you back. It's a 6.45 is the movie. Do you, what time we're leaving here? Do we have any idea? You mean to go to the movie? Yeah. I haven't heard from Danny or anybody yet. No, I don't know. Probably I was figuring five or something Probably. like that. Yeah. Okay, have a nice walk. <laughs> See ya, babe. Uh, now we continue. Alan Friedman is the uh, band's accountant, and he lives not too far from here so he is coming tonight we haven't seen him in a while when we did our uh, thing for Telefunken it was through Alan and his band also played because he's also a musician the Happy Life Productions across the street so we're gonna it's really a cute little charming area. I'll get you all the way back to our hotel. The hotel is really cool. I love this, but being able to look down and see an area like this, just flowing through town. A little place where you can eat in the back. the arts. That's always a good thing to see. That's a I can't believe in all the years I've toured this area that we've never come through Woodstock before. Stuff for the Woodstock Film Festival.
charming. It's pretty cute. Look at this. This is great. I'm assuming they're getting ready for Halloween, but this is probably how it is every day. Pretty great. Take a look. Take a look at this thing. Paul's mosaics. Pretty great. Gals are out here tidying up the flowers. So here's an ad for the for the film festival. Oh, the farm festival. Huh. Well, that's practically us even better. Just cute little shops. People walking on them, these guys want to come speed around and show what a big thing they have. Not. Just really. It's great. Thing that's really great is the temperature is probably in the low 60s super comfortable the air all i can smell is wood fireplaces burning so it's got this just it's just great 
is the Mud Club. It's a restaurant. It's got pizza and stuff. But <laughs> they got look at all the. Uh, see dogs everywhere which is great I wish I had my boys here to be out walking really beautiful the only thing incongruous are these standards it's like a old movie theater <laughs> where we ate dinner last night. The cool moon is really good. The guys were saying the Caesar salad they had here was one of the best they've ever had. I had an impossible burger, so I was happy. Woodstock meats across the street. civilization. There's a CBS pharmacy here. Everybody did a quick stop there last night just to grab stuff for their rooms. So this is the road back to the uh, hotel. I saw this on my way out here. <laughs> a little welcome. I'm filming, so you're on my film. How are you? Lee, I'm a, a fellow bass player. I'm 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 a huge fan of thank everything, you so much. immediate family, the whole bit, all of your playing over the years. Oh, thank, thank you, you. So much. Are you going to come to the film I'm, screening tonight? I, I'm not scheduled. I'm actually work at Lee Bonds too. Oh, great! So I was at a film screening there last yeah. night. Yeah, but it's just an honor to meet you. Well, I've always wanted to grow a beard like you when I. <laughs> When I, when I grow up. I'll have to get you one of my t-shirts. That way it'll, it'll already have all of this so on it. Awesome, <laughs> Thank you. I know we're filming. Am I going to be able to take a selfie with you? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Let's, Thank you. let's jump in here. Wow. Wow. What an honor. Yeah, I'm taking everybody on a little tour of Woodstock. Have you been to Rick Danko's grave? Not yet. You'll, you'll find Levon's there too. Oh, really? It's in the Woodstock Cemetery. I'll have to go check it out. Colony. I had a chance to play with Levon a couple of times and Garth. And uh, mm -hmm. Garth wow. is still around. I know. Barely hanging in. He was amazing, but, though. We did a Tr Terrence Trent Darby album together. Wow. We'll go figure that one out. And uh, it was, it, I just said, because I remember back in 1976, I think it was in Houston with James Taylor, and we played, it was, I think, Fourth of July evening, and it was the band and James. So got to see them in the height wow. of their powers. You know, it was... It was a life-changing evening, to say the least. 45 years in the basement, never got out of the basement with my bass. That's the best 70, place to be. 72 Precision, and then a 59 Dan Electro copy signed by Jack Bruce, John Paul Jones, Jack Cassidy. Nobody of good was Except available. You. And you're the only one that's not on it. You would have made the... Uh, we still have things to look forward to. Amen. Have a great so time great tonight. You. Thank you so much. A pleasure. For you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye can't plan these things they just happen continue on our little adventure here now it was funny we got in last night and it was dark and we walked to this restaurant that I just showed you where the Caesar salad was um, and it was 
pitch black and there's no hardly a street light to be seen. So for me, just walking out here today was seeing it for the first time. I walked by all this last night and couldn't see any of it. I mean, just these beautiful little places all tucked away in here. And it was great to get up this morning and go out of the hotel and see the hotel. It is really bitching. And last night I had no clue what this place looked like. I know where my room was and that was it. The Woodstock Therapy Center. It was 67 and I was still in group therapy, in the band group therapy. We could have come here, maybe got a discount. God knows we needed it. Oh God, here comes a huge traffic jam. This is, this is the thing that's always amazing. I mean, when you come out of LA, then you end up in places like this. Um, you just kind of go, oh, this is a good sign. No fracking, good, good. But you come in here and it's like a couple of cars becomes like, oh my God, there's traffic. It's like when I go to my sister's in Montana, you're out there driving and just like you see a couple of cars and I'm like, she might go, guys, that's unusual. <laughs> I get, I, I see more traffic than they see all day coming off my driveway. Yeah, so we were walking a bunch of us last night that uh, was um, myself and, and Steve Postel and Denny Tedesco, uh, Greg and John, Jack, the producers are all here. And we're just walking down. We had no idea where we were going or anything, using our phones to light the way. <laughs> So quiet. I hear traffic. There we go. Level sewing machines, that's really cool. Oh, these little beautiful little places just tucked away. This is just beautiful in here. I'm gonna stop for a minute and just enjoy this.
gets a little busier here on the main drag coming through. That's so cool boy, somebody's house is like right on this. Almost back to the uh, hotel. There's a cute puppy right out here in this house, right on the, uh, relaxing on the front porch. Oh, this there. Hey. So here's where they have us staying for this. Woodstock in them. You see, it sounds like there might be water down here. The sad part of this, the hard part of doing these things is we're gonna go at 645 is the screening of the uh, dock and then the Q&A and then a get together afterwards. <coughs> Um, and at 2 a.m., Denny Tedesco and I are driving back to New York to LaGuardia Airport to catch a 6 a.m. flight to Wichita, Kansas for the Highgrass Film Festival. Do that and then immediately turn around after that and fly to Nashville. Look at how beautiful this is back here. This is all, I can hear this from my room behind me, I haven't seen it. This is just fabulous. It's so amazing, it comes through and then it gets real calm on this side. I'm going to film tonight at the uh, screening and do everything I can there and post that. I just wanted to take everybody on a little visit to, uh, to Woodstock. Everybody, this is Greg. He's one of the producers. <laughs> he, and he was the bass player in the Wallflowers. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Hello. This is the YouTube channel. Oh, my Lord. I, I just took everybody on a trip through uh, through Woodstock. Well, that's a lot of people. So, hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm a fan of Lee as well. No, of get course. Over it. Get over <laughs> no, <it>. no. <laughs> Do you know what time we're going? I think, um, I'm not sure, but we're having lunch with Denny in a minute. Do you oh, want to okay. come? You can. Sure, I may as well. I'm not doing Please. anything, so. Terrific. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just be right there. Great. Okay, see you in a minute. Bye bye. <laughs> Look at this. So, th sh they've got this row of cottage rooms here and three of the guys are there
Steve Postel got here before us because he was already in New York, so he rented a car and came down here. He's staying in that cabin right up there. And then there's, it's the office here. They have a, uh, so that's where Postel is staying. And he gets to enjoy it longer because it's only Denny and I going to uh, Kansas. Yeah, so this is like right behind the hotel. Nice place just to sit and relax. That little balcony sticking out right over there. I think that's the back of my room. I'm gonna come with you guys. Oh, great. Come I, I, I just, I, I just finished filming Woodstock. <laughs> Jack, there, there's Denny, Denny, the, the, the guilty party for all of this shit. Jesus. Fix your collar, Denny. Please, 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 <laughs> please, 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 come on, You're professional. Stop it, stop it. You gotta produce everything you. Stop do. it. Okay. This, this is where you're worried about Interpol seeing this. <laughs> Or the outer pole. I know, I already got him on this. No, I don't want to, everybody know inner pole is like for me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm going to just put this in the room and then I'll be right outside with you. I'm going to come with you guys. What are you yeah. putting in the room? The anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a minute. Did they, did they you've, been looking, you've been looking all morning. You I said found you a shop. I them. found a shop. By, yeah, the only one. They're by, made out of wood, though. By the way. Ooh, and they don't sand they them. Uh, no. <laughs> they're not I'm lacquered, either. I'm doing, I am doing... I'm taking chess lessons. Can they be blue? After that. Well, you could be a grandmaster, because you know, definitely know the trick. Yeah. <laughs> now we know the trick. Look at these guys. I put my my future in their hands. I'm so screwed. Don't have much left. <laughs> no, like, no calluses. I'm worried about those hands. <laughs> you know what? You fucked up. Yeah. You, know you always got to worry about a guy who's getting dirty. He never stops, so you have to just dive and jump in. I know, exactly. <laughs> you fucked up because yeah. you trusted us. You fucked up. It's the Jew in me. Now I feel guilty about it. You, I'm, I'm winning on all Jew ends. Jew and me. <laughs> I, can Hurry up. I don't have the okay. Bye. God, are you John and I the only ones? <laughs>